Hey there. So it has been a few days since my surgery and I have not um, done any updating for anybody really. Um, so now I'm going to update. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, been pretty emotional. Um, things with my surgery did not go exactly how we wanted them, which I feel like at this point is kind of the story of my life. Um, every time I think something is going to be like the final step or I think something's going to go the way that I want it to or the way that I need it to for my life, uh, it just doesn't. And so that's why I was saying in my last video that I want to have hope, but it's hard to, um, I'm not completely hopeless where this surgery is concerned. Um, so let me just kind of go into what happened so my surgery was supposed to be two hours. The surgery that I was having is a similar surgery to the one that I had two years ago um, that failed. Um, it was a, another sling procedure, but this time instead of just trying to hoist up. Oh, and by the way, this is going to have a lot of medical talk in it. And so if it makes, if you're not the type of person that can handle like medical talk, just don't watch or whatever. Um, but but anyways, I will be talking about it because it's my life and this is what's going on with me. Um, so basically, instead of just trying to hoist up my urethra, they were going to wrap around my urethra with tissue and lift up and tighten it to try to close it off um, so that I could have normal bladder control again. Um, and... They took tissue from my thigh, and so I have three incisions in my thigh from where they took tissue from my thigh, and then where the problem came in was actually trying to do the sling procedure. Um, when they got in there, um, they I had two incisions to get to my urethra. One was transvaginal, so it was up my vet up my vagina and an incision to go up to my urethra and then an incision coming down from my abdomen to my urethra and what they realized once they got in there was that due to all of my previous abdominal surgeries my urethra was surrounded by scar tissue um and they had a very very difficult time trying to complete the procedure due to the scar tissue during the procedure, they, um, while trying to get my urethra separated from scar tissue, they punctured holes in my urethra and in my bladder. Um, and my two-hour surgery ended up being a five-hour surgery. Um, so it, and because of all the scar tissue, uh, instead of being able to do complete 360 around, they had to, um, they weren't able to get quite all the way around, and so they got most of the way around and just kind of had to jerry-rig it. Um, and then the other downside about the surgery that we were aware of going in was that um, the sling anchors to the pubic bone on either side of the urethra, and I only have pubic bone on my left side now. With my last tumor surgery, they had to completely remove the right side of my pubic bone and so they didn't have that to anchor on the right side anyways and um so they just had to try to attach it down to fascia and hope that it works um now they did say that while they were in there I was cathetered and they tightened it until it stopped leaking and that's where they stitched it down um and so that's a positive um but at this point she said she's hopeful, but she can't guarantee that, um, that it'll be successful. Uh, so there, there are no guarantees at this point. Um, things weren't able to go exactly how we wanted them to go. And so, and even to begin with, there wasn't really any guarantee because of the lack of my pubic bone. Um, so when I woke up, I remember waking up and I just started crying immediately. I was in so much pain. Um, 
I mean, they were rooting around inside me for three hours longer than the original surgery was um, going to be. And so, without trying to be too graphic, my crotch is just not okay. <laughs> um, so I'm in a lot of pain um, most of the time. Um, and then I also have the three incisions going up my thigh that are very painful as well. Um, so I have that going on. And then because of the holes that they poked while they were in there trying to get the surgery done, I now have to be cathetered for the next month. So I am, I have a catheter for a month. Um, and then, so we won't even be able to know for sure how successful or if it was successful until the catheter is removed. Um, so that's, that's how that went. I ended up be having to stay overnight in the hospital because my pain was so unmanageable. There was a lot of bleeding. And so I had to, um, nurses had to have access to me all night. Um, and then my sister and I flew home Tuesday, which was yesterday. Um, so anyway, so now I'm home and just healing. A um, couple of other downsides were that I, the original surgery would not have required as long of a healing time, I don't think. Um, I'm, my recovery is going to be about six weeks. I can't drive for the next two weeks. I can't lift more than 15 pounds for the next six weeks. Um, and I'll have a catheter for a month of that six weeks. So it's just, I don't know. I don't know if I just was expecting it to be easier because I, I had it in my head that this was going to be an easier surgery than the other surgeries that I've had. And it's, that is not turning out to be the case. And that is very frustrating. And it's, it's emotional for me, you know, like I'm just, I'm so worn out with all these surgeries. Like this was my 22nd hospitalization in the last five years. 15 of those hospitalizations have been surgeries. And I'm just worn out. I'm worn down. I'm super emotional about it all. Um, and I'm... I'm trying to let myself be emotional because I feel like a lot of times I try really hard to just be like, okay, this is just another step. I just have to grin and bear it. I just have to keep going. It'll be fine. But I'm so tired, you guys. Like, I'm so tired of having surgeries. I'm so tired of having recoveries. I'm so tired of being in pain. I'm so tired of feeling like my life doesn't get to be normal. Um, because I'm so busy planning what my next surgery has to be. And it's just, it is, it's very emotional for me. And now here we are in December and I get to spend my entire month of December at home, not doing anything. I don't get to go Christmas shopping. I like, my family decorated my tree while I was gone, which I'm super grateful for, and it makes me so happy to just have it here and something nice for me to look at while I can't move. So, um, I don't know. I'm just... Sorry, I don't have anything more, like, cheerful to say, but I'm very worn down at this point, um... But I've had a lot of people asking how things went, and so it was just easier for me to come on and give this sort of explanation and let you all know that, like, I'm okay, I'm fine, I'm home, nothing bad really happened during the surgery. It just didn't go the way it was supposed to. Um, so, so yeah, that's, that's where things kind of stand right now. So, I'm... I don't know where I am even mentally and emotionally. Um, I'm just, I feel like I'm 
I wanted so badly to just come out of surgery and be like, woohoo, I'm done. And uh, that's... Now I just am in limbo because I don't know. I don't know what happens next. I don't know if the surgery worked. Um, all I know is I'm tired and I'm worn down. And I'm in pain. So. So that's my update. Um, like I said, sorry it's not like something happier, but I can't just not. I can't just pretend I'm okay. You know, that's not healthy for me either. Um. So, but like, this is, this is me, this is real, this is raw, this is how I'm doing right now. So definitely keep me in your prayers, because while I know, like, physically my pain is going to get better, mentally I am so not in a good place. I have a wonderful support system here, though. I have my family, my best friend is here now, so... And she's been wonderful. I have my other best friend who calls me all the time. I just, I have, I have support I'm taken care of. And I know things will work out the way they're supposed to. It's just, it's really hard right now. Um, so, so anyways, <laughs> Sorry to uh, not have something happier, but this is this is how my life is right now. So just keep me in your prayers, um, and I will for sure keep you guys updated um, and let everybody know how everything continues to progress and and whatnot. So. Thank you guys for all the love and the prayers and everything. I, I can't even tell you how much I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, so thank you. And I will hopefully talk to you guys again soon.